Hello guys, welcome to the first video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. Now I'm not going to give you the basic or brief introduction of uh, Android because uh, you may know or you must know uh, what is Android. Most of the mobile app devices and nowadays TV and uh, wearable technology uses Android as their main operating system. So I'm going to start this video series how we can uh, download and install and configure Android app development environment and we are going to uh, use Android Studio to develop our Android uh, apps. So to configure Android Studio first we need to have Java in our operating system. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Java JDK and configure the environment variables. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Android Studio and configure it to develop Android applications. So let's get started. First of all, we need to uh, download Java. So just search for Java JDK and uh, search for it. It's Java JDK and most probably the first link here will appear from uh, www dot oracle dot com and slash some URL so click this uh, link here and in here you just need to click ask me later and in here in this web page you may see two options one is uh, NetBeans with JDK 8 and uh, second is Java platform so NetBeans is uh, an IDE to develop Java applications and at this time we don't require this we are going to download this uh, Java on our system so just click this icon Java and in here you may see different uh, options for downloading Java JDK for uh, Windows Mac Linux Solaris and uh, other operating systems and uh, this series uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to and develop Android apps on Windows so we will do it on Windows so just click the option I accept and in here uh, if you are running Windows 8 it's uh, most probable that your operating system is 64-bit operating system so I'm going to download this 64-bit um, uh, Java executable file from here so just click this uh, JDK minus 8 U25 at the time of making this video JDK 8 is the latest one so I'm going to click this link to uh, download this JDK file which is an executable file and it can take some time to download so uh, I will let it download and uh, I will see you when it's fully downloaded so now my download is complete and I'm going to run this executable file and I will say yes and it will uh, prepare the installer for us for uh, installing Java and once uh, this is prepared it's uh, easy to install Java you just need to click some next buttons and most probably uh, it will be installed uh, in few minutes on your uh, Windows operating system or if you are using I think uh, they already give uh, updates for Java so you don't need to do anything and it says that Java is already uh, there in my computer so I don't need to do anything so once uh, you have uh, you know installed this Java it's not a rocket science to install Java you just need to click uh, some next button and the most probably after everything is finished you just need to click this finish button and once it's uh, installed you will be able to see in your uh, PC in C folder of your uh, operating system in here you just need to go to program files and in here you will be able to see this Java folder in your C and slash program files folder and in this uh, Java folder there will be two files one is JDK folder and second is JRE folder JDK stands for Java Development Kit and JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. 
So for our purpose, for developing app on Android Studio, we need uh, this JDK. So what we need to do is we need to set the environment variable for uh, Java so that uh, Android Studio can recognize this. So what I will do is I will copy this uh, path from here, which is C colon slash program files slash Java slash whatever is the name of your JDK folder. So it starts from JDK. So just copy this uh, path from here. And now we are going to uh, go to the system. So just search for system. And in the system, we are going to uh, go to advanced system settings. Okay, so go to the advanced system settings. And in here, in the advanced system settings, you need to click environment variable, which is this option. And in here, what you need to do is you just need to uh, click in the system variable. You just search if uh, this Java home variable is there. And if it's not there, you just need to click new. Most probably you need to uh, give this environment variable. So click new. And in here, you just need to write Java underscore home all in capital. So Java underscore home. Everything is capital. So you uh, should do or you should write this Java home exactly the same Java underscore home. Okay, and then copy the path or paste the path which you have copied from here, which was uh, your C colon slash program file slash Java slash JDK. Okay, this path you will get after installing Java JDK. So you just need to do this click OK and click OK and click OK, and everything is done. So now Java JDK is installed on your system and you have successfully set the environment variable for JDK. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see how we can download and install Android Studio for developing our Android apps. So stay tuned and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.